we are back for the final episode of season one, War of the Crows, the game where we play Blades in the Dark. And it's the last session of the year. Merry so Christmas. Time. Got Mary, Merry, Dust I'm just, just thinking out what I'm going to do. <laughs> to be what themed. Like? No, with, with rejoining the uh, rejoining the thing. It's not going to be a, a rocket-powered wheelchair I come in. It's going to be a rocket-powered sled. Yep. That's it. That you can see yep. what's coming. <laughs> it's going to be great. That's what, right, that's what he's been working on. That's why he wasn't in the first half. He was yeah. just making a, a sledge to come and uh, make entrance. Yeah, you could this... be coming in on a wheelchair, but uh, Lorenzo could be leaving in a wheelchair. Ooh, Ooh. I like yeah. that. We're gonna we're gonna pivot to um, a full on Christmas film now. <laughs> Saffron's <laughs> realised he can power stuff with um, Christmas cheer. Uh, so. Silas finds he has uh, an estranged son and has to kind of like build a relationship with him mm, by means of the holidays, yeah. mm-hmm. like. You know, hard work, finding meaning in his criminal lifestyle, yep, spending his yep. ill gotten gains on Christmas toys, that sort of thing. Yeah. Wow. Long time. But he thinks he's an elf. <laughs> all right. Well. Sorry, I've had to reconnect there. I was internet. That's all right. Things. If I've messed up your your things. No, things have been messed up. Um, really good. Who wants to read? The scroll for our audio listeners. Uh, I'll get, we'll give Silas hasn't done one in a while. Oh, okay. What a treat. Mm, yes. <laughs> it's a high speed carriage chase. The crew have made a plan to abduct an industrialist travelling in his carriage with the help of the lost. Their plan is to acquire the legal license to transport goods to and from Ironhook in their boats. With this unique smuggling opportunity, Lorenzo's upcoming stint in Einhoek is set to become a lot easier. Potentially. We hope. All right, well, you rejoin the action. And if I'm not mistaken, Lorenzo has just jumped into the front seat of the carriage and is now sitting next to the driver. Silas and Friedrich, you are in your own carriage, yes, rubbing sir. against this car- this other one from the other side. And as you suddenly look ahead, maybe we get a front camera shot of Silas and Friedrich looking ahead, and then both the driver and Lorenzo both looking ahead, and you can see. Um, the road leads into a sharp corner where it meets the canal um, as both of your carriages are speeding straight towards the water. And um, who's waiting there? Is it the fourth member of the crew or is is he coming in in a different well, what's, way? Well, yeah, what's, what's good, I'm just trying to check my notes, is that the, the chair is actually faster than the carriage. That was the exact specific the notion, the notion, the lineation of the speed of the side of, of the wheelchair. So he could have been catching up and have the ability to overtake. I think it was at as, some point. as fast as. I've got it written down. I'm pretty sure it said it was six times the speed of a carriage. <laughs> it says, which I copied, which I copied from the description of the vampire, which we agreed was the speed moves faster than a carriage. Like uh, Mac One, right? Carriage One, Carriage yeah, Two, exactly. <laughs> two carriage power. There's my power. Carriage barrier. Um, <laughs> but I don't know how I'd be ahead of the game unless it was planned. Flashback. It could be a flashback, I suppose. I was waiting. I mean, this is the cool thing about people coming in mid 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 uh, score, right? Because you can it can be all be as planned, so you can either be exactly. up ahead, emergency yeah. checkpoint, or you can be coming in on the flank, or so to be to, to really be fun, of course, Saffron's wheelchair has spiked blades on the wheels, so it could do a proper gladiator esque <laughs> take down the carriage. Now Laurie's in there, but does Saffron know that? 
This is the. Um... What does he care? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm inside yet. I, don't, I think I think we're in. On the front like, of it. On the I think he's like on the door side of the passenger, and he's. Cur I think he was last. I think he rolled to get inside and like kind of punches his way inside. Yeah. So he might have traded his, posi his position with the passenger's position. So I think yeah. he's sitting inside now. Yeah, you did. You pulled the guy out and then jumped in. Yeah. Yeah, because you got a six. Nice. That's where we ended. Oh, yes. Nice. Indeed. <laughs> so is 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 the flashback that this was always the plan? Saffron is now going to take out the carriage, but there is a signal that they're, they're, them seeing him now charging basically at the carriage. They now give lots of signal, which is get the fuck out now with him because this carriage is going down. Is that is that potentially the flashback? Potentially, but you also don't want to kill this person who's inside. Exactly, but they're going to get him out first. That's that's the thing is now it's happening. Oh, I see. Saffron is coming. Saffron um... is coming, <laughs> like the like the Saffron cruise missile. It's coming to town. That's the uh, yeah. That's the whole it's... thing. <laughs> it's, we, it's had getting... no, we had we had no timer on this heist, and you just added one that you're going to kill everybody. That's... Yeah, we're going to have we have to cheat all the time in the, the world uh... to steal this guy. We're going to have to add the saffron <laughs> clock now. Well, you can say all the time. Saffron the <laughs> world burns clock. <laughs> you said you're yeah. coming up to a verge. You know, you've got to get him out. Well, Lorenzo's in the front cab bit, rather than with the with the industrialist. Mm. So uh you got more work to do. I think I'll I think you'll you'll try and wrestle to stop the vehicle, I think, that his goal. Oh, well that's the more sensible thing to do, I suppose. Hmm. I think that will need to happen. I think you'll need to divert the carriage with a roll or otherwise it will be going into um the canal. So All right, either, so the either okay, Friedrich, so the... Friedrich driving oh. the other one or Lorenzo who inside or yeah, saffron, whatever. It's, ho it's horse drawn, Rick, right? Hull drawn. Hull drawn, yes, that was it. Sorry, that was also it's not, I was going to try and scare the something other than like. Are there Dursley. horses in this universe? You, yeah, you, you seem to have an argument, a discussion about this last session. Yeah, I meant to, I meant to find out, and then I didn't. Um, I mean, it's not very I'm, important. <laughs> it's it's more like one. I don't. Uh, the hull, I imagine, is more like a V8 in front of the carriage rather than horses, right? That's what, how you kind of described it last time. It's more yeah, of just like a raw engine block. Yeah, it's pretty much like if you were going to make the most economical, industrial pulling engine, like a, like like a industrial engine, that would be what it would look like. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, horses maybe, maybe yeah. Mm, yeah. So yeah what, do you, what do you do if you, if you can't afford a hull? Yeah. yeah. I was walk... I was thinking as well because uh, meat is also such a rarity. Mm. Uh, if if horses are a thing, that means there would be some sort of like, uh, misland cavalry probably some like yeah. riders well, on the on well, the that, That's true. To be fair, the That'd be yeah, awesome. The, the people in the Deathlands and the and the Scovlanders go around on horseback. So sorry, the Severosi. But then what? Are, but then what are signs from Friedrich Ryan then, if not horse drawn or? Yeah, I think they've got they've got a horse. Okay, they it's cannon. Horses. It's cannon. There are horses. horses. Yay! Um, There's um, horses with cannons. Not in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> horse drawn horse cannon. Horse drawn artillery. <laughs> horse yes, yes, cannon. very good. Thank you. Um. I don't think my wheelchair blades are strong enough to take out the legs of a, a robot. I feel like. That Let's quite. find out. Because <laughs> that would slow it down. Taking out the hull. You go but... under the wheel of a of a hull. Yeah, that probably might slow it down. <laughs> yeah. Does it have wheels? It has. Yeah, the hull has wheels. The yeah, I think it's got big like. Okay. Yeah, metal wheels. Uh, metal yeah. wheels yeah. They're not tires. They don't have tires. Though. No, I think more wood. No wood. I think the car. I think the carriage has wooden wheels. I think so. Yeah, I think the carriage is definitely weaker than the the hull. But yeah, it's still going to stop it. It's going to the hull's going to drag it along. Mm. So we've got to divert it. Um, okay, well that's probably on those guys then to divert it then. I can't. I was going to like set off a little explosion to scare the horse, but it would just scare their horse to be honest at this point. Who is, who is doing something? I need an action. Otherwise, um, you're going in the water. Did we say last time that the, the, the driver actually drives it, or is it the hull that kind of drives itself? 
I think he drives it in so far as um, maybe it's like driving a a train or a tram. You know, it's kind of there's like a stop lever start. you can pull to stop. Mm. But is it so like I see is this it, lever? And you can, like you can obviously you know make it go a different direction. Can I can I see the the stop lever? Well, that's the thing. Does does Lorenzo know how to pilot a, an industrial hull? That's the thing. I wouldn't say so. Definitely not. <laughs> In fact, I'd be definitely um... saying not. <laughs> <laughs> but the hull's I'm... not like an automatic Lorenzo... thing. It's not. It wouldn't like detect an obstruction and swerve out the way. It's, it's all manual on the, the driver. It has a soul inside, powering it. A with, soul so... with sentience. Yeah, it's it's Sparkcraft. It's the combination of. Um, so if I was to drive at it, chicken it, it would swerve? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what its chances it thinks it has. I think, I think well, generally probably, holes, probably quite hard to get they're pretty, they're pretty, they're pretty like hard-coded to like complete their objective, right? So if they're set to oh, do a task, yeah. nothing is going to get in the way of doing it. There's no um, three laws of robotics for hulls. No, that's... <laughs> unless, that's it's like, unless it's like... Does it make me money? Then do that thing. That's kind of it. Okay. Yeah, so um, I'll take out the fucking wheels. Can, can Lorenzo go to command the driver, ordering him to stop? Um, and can I take a devil's bargain for that action? Well, Did you end up doing the devil's bargain? You, uh, you, no. It was discussed. And yes, because you, you lose your guns, right? I said no. Yeah, I think. Tell me how you're commanding. Um, Lorenzo kind of like brushing himself off like you know uh, yeah, yeah. pulling his collar up and stuff after yeah. chucking the guy out yeah. brushing some dust off his guy and to the back seat drivers like, <laughs> what if I just hang in yeah, yeah. Um, he's, he's kind of like looking at him and he's like uh, so you got two choices one you take a shot holiday like your friend here two you uh, stop this vehicle, and you can uh, keep breathing. I think he's just driving like... <laughs> um... Alright. Nice. And you want a devil's bargain? Yes, if possible. Hmm, the devil's like bargain. Devil. Devil's bargain is, uh, yeah, I'll give you an extra dice. Um, but you panic him so much that he crashes the carriage into one of the brick walls and it will do un un untold damage to the passenger and everyone inside. Mm. Big bargain, eh? It's quite Do a large bargain. I imagine it's going to be a fortune roll as well on the damage. Mm. So knowing us, it's, they're going to die. Do you, and mm. you, you're you're on the carriage too. I will die as well. <laughs> Do you not? Yeah, have I didn't fancy going to prison. Just you know what? <laughs> <laughs> on the upside, no prison. Broken arms and legs. Jesus, take the wheel. Do you not have much in command? I've got one. So I was going to push myself and do it. Uh, give me two pips. Yep. I'll go with that. I won't take the devil's bargain. I will keep asking for them, though, because there will yeah. be one which I will keep, take. Keep shopping. Um, and I don't think your wounds detract oh, from I'm your commands. Damned. Yeah, I don't think that's not going to stop you That'll commanding. probably give me a bonus, because I'm extra angry. <laughs> Maybe. Like, like, yeah, just do a Vader and channel the pain. Would you say risky? Um... Yes. This How about is, I trip position standard. for effect? If you wish. So it's going to be a desperate for a great. Yes. Although I'm not sure what a great thing is. He will he will just stop the the carriage basically. No. Maybe great is that he stops the carriage but he doesn't try and fight you. He just surrenders then. Nice, do it. Okay. Do it. Oh, well, it's a success. 
Oh. And I get, and I get an XP and resolve because it's desperate. Yes, yes. Success mm. with a consequence. So you tell him to to stop the uh, the carriage. The, and it's a, it's a desperate consequence. Desperate consequence. So I think what happens or, is he... Or, Go on. or consequence or complication, right? So it doesn't... can be like a... I don't know. What are you going to suggest? Well, so it... What you want happens, he does pull on the great brake lever and the carriage is like... And you can see sparks coming up from the holes wheels they lock in place and they're scattering over the cobblestones and it starts the whole carriage starts like jackknifing like this um and i think the desperate consequence is that as you skid round the corner and then you're kind of you're in the traditional action film style the back wheels go just off the side of the canal and then the carriage stops kind of leaning italian job style on the uh on the side and i think i think as you as you come to a stop breathe a sigh of relief and then you hear this oi oi damned emporium come out come out with your hands up and you behind you on the canal comes a blue coats patrol boat with its electroplasm oh, lights going. Oh, no. My colleagues from the River Patrol. <laughs> what a pleasure to see you. <laughs> Where's and, uh, I mean... and uh, this is your this is your um, warrant of arrest clock, fully fully closing now. Oh, uh -oh. No. Well, we need to get the guy out of here, right? Yes. Well, we need to get the guy so, with the contract out of here, but there's, you know, there's another guy. We don't really need to get out of here at all now. No, that's Let what I mean. Just... Can I just draw the picture in my mind? So we're in the carriage and we're the back half's hanging off into the river and the front half's hanging on the to the stone by the wheel still. Yeah. And the right. guy we need is in the back. Yeah. Reverse He's probably like dangling out now. Reverse flashback. This is this is the bit where Saffron appears in the damn in the damn dodger. Oh. To get him out of the back on the on the dodger. Nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I didn't get to. I didn't get to chariot the 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 uh, yeah gladiator I, thing, but this makes more sense. Oh yeah, the back wheels skid off the back of the uh, of the side of the canal, and then they just kind of drop, and then they just touch down onto the top of the damn dodger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The saffron's there, like ahoy, ahoy. <laughs> oh hello there. Was there a package for me? <laughs> maybe maybe it's not that convenient, but but yes, I think it's fair. To it say. is that convenient. This is, this is, this is very right. planned. No, no. It was all gone to plan. <laughs> definitely hey, meant no, to. I'm up for it. Definitely meant to crash the wagon halfway off the <laughs> river. Really. Yeah, yeah. All aboard. <laughs> cool. So you, uh, the, the doors like on the back, like been broken off already. So. You can quite easily grab the uh, the guy from inside. Um, well, if he's, if he's going to restrain, I'll probably have to blow dot him because again, yeah. Saffron's a very weak old man. But I, I, I'm, I'm a classic blow doctor. I'm fine with it. <laughs> so like, there, man. loading up your syringe. <laughs> One moment, sir. Won't be too long. <laughs> we'll have you. Oh, I knock him out. He passes out of the boat. Right. Great. Yep. That happens. Silas and Friedrich, what are you up to? You uh, come to a um, stop. I wonder if we're making a hasty getaway separate to the boat uh, yeah. or yeah. joining the boat. I imagine that's the sensible thing for them to do. Um, Service so distractions. So, yeah. Rather, rather than uh, trying to park up, jump on the boat, and escape in our little, yeah, in our little smuggling boat. Yeah. Um, I, I imagine that <laughs> Silas is just like. I think that's probably our cue to head home, Friedrich. An excellent plan. Hopefully, we might divert some of the uh, the law's attention if we're lucky. I was rather hoping not to be gathering any attention at all. I'm sure they can do it. Uh, you have such little faith in my driving ability. Let me show you a thing or two, Mr. Templeton. 
Oh yeah, it's, 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 it's like changes gears on the carriage. <laughs> <laughs> on the horse, yeah. <laughs> Whisper some uh, some <laughs> some Germanic phrases to the horse. <laughs> like Gandalf. Um <laughs> yeah, it just it's just like that. Yeah. Also, yeah. Mm. Ar Arwen. Los gates. My the horse. Um, Vamos. <laughs> uh, so, and so, Lorenzo, what yeah. do you do? Is this the moment that you? Is 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 it like in a police yourself? van? Is it like in a police van where there's like uh, material between in the window between the like the front of the carriage and the passenger berth? Is yeah, probably because yeah, the, prison, uh, the passengers like probably have to speak through. to the. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna open the door. Oh, the door's already gone, isn't it? I'm gonna clamber out. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I just jump into the damn dodger? Dodger. You can. Is that a simple action? I, I'll just I'll just jump in then. You can, um, but um. You've and I take perfect. my long rifle, waiting for you me in the damn the dodger. Perfect, you've got the perfect setup. So. Be next. Yeah. If you oh. if you do if you do jump in the jam the damned dodger then you will need to roll for your getaway um, if you're not going to surrender yourself at this moment oh you can that part of the plan just, exactly heroically <laughs> just that's why we're here I, mean, I, I think everybody was like oh yep he's gone then <laughs> <See ya." laughs> I jump on the boat wait a minute this is the last session of the year on the second thoughts actually quite value my freedom <laughs> Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll I'll make a leap from the from the door of the wagon, um, and on purpose make it look really like I've slipped. Really, even though I'm in, I'm in control, I'll make it look like I've slipped and I've done a blunder. Mm -hmm. um, and then nice. it's gonna swoop swoop me up like a fish in a barrel. So you're doing I it. Imagine. So what are you doing? You're I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out and land in the water instead of the boat. I'm gonna miss the boat uh, okay. and act like I've made a blunder, uh, okay. and then they're gonna swoop me up. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, fair. Um, Go scoop... on, you bastards! <laughs> Come they take get, me if you they can. Get, they get their <laughs> they get their dirty crim scooper two thousand. <laughs> um, it's so dignified. Hoist your. <laughs> And they go. I've come up with a bunch of seaweed and like crabs in my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Prob probably a demon. Probably a, a demon. Um, Dirty demon. A, le a leviathan. Maybe that's oh, a shell yeah. as well. Um, Swimming in the water. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. They're like, well, 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 Vincent uh, Lorenzo Vincetti of the Thames Emporium. We've been looking for you oh. for a long time. You're. You're fucking nicked, son. I think, <laughs> I think you might have been... As well as my accent gone. I think you might have me mistaken with uh, someone else, chaps. Fellas. I imply you. I've got a common face. <laughs> yeah, nice try. We, uh, we've got a tip-off. You'll be trying something funny around these parts? No, no. Just going for a little swim around here. I can't keep going cockney, goddammit. <laughs> God, take just cockney, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, they're having uh, none of it as they clasp, clap you in irons, and as you see <gasps> the you see the damn dodger put put putting away into the um, the mist of all these other boats and barges, and it's gone because it's like that. Even... Just, just disappears. Even though Lorenzo knew everything went to plan kind of perfectly, I think having those cuffs put on him and that cold metal going against his wrists, he's like, Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Is this <laughs> really real. the right idea? It's, it's real now. Is this kind of just washing over him what's about actually to happen? He's like, Ah, oh, this is going to we'll, be a year. Yeah. We'll come shit. visit. <laughs> they better pull through. And then you hear like Bear's voice in your head being like, <laughs> Yeah, never these fucking mate. shackles, mate. Get these off. Don't, don't worry, mate. We'll uh, we'll make a man of you yet in there. <laughs> we'll look after each other, boy. <laughs> and um, 
because you've not had a chance to get rid of bear i think i think we can we can say that it's kind of like a i think he's maybe holding off just in case he doesn't want to take over you whilst you're in prison i think he's he's quite happy for you to do the prison time and for him to to, to come in you know when 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 you've done so i feel like yeah. you're going to be in there together he's he's set his hooks in and now he's uh now he can come and go when he pleases yeah yeah and uh you know it, you never know it might be like a whole johnny steel hands situation johnny silver hands silver hands where you learn to trust each other and take the wheel johnny <laughs> Man. Yeah. Cool. So that, that's me. I'll, I'll be heading off now. Bye, guys. Have a good session. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you in season three. We can um, all be the start of the start of his stint this land, can't we? Yeah. I mean, well, also, like, so, what do you do with this um, this industrialist <laughs> chap? I assume you all meet at a uh, like at your hideout or like a nondescript location, or do you take him to the to the railway yard think... where the lost were. Oh. Hmm. Nah, he's our he's our prisoner, isn't he? Let's take him to the Emporium. Yeah. So Saffron is very tired. He'll go back to the Emporium straight away. I think he forgot he even had the uh, guy with him. He's just an autopilot. Oh yes, back to the Emporium. Oh, well, uh, what are you doing here? Oh yes, the guy. Here you go. <laughs> I always forget there's a paralyzed when there's a paralyzed <laughs> man in the book. There's just there's always just so many paralyzed people around. Me. I've lost track of who I've blue darted today. Yeah, normally write it on my hand. Who I've paralyzed. paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, yeah. See you. Uh, you take him to the Emporium and then. Um, wake him up and I imagine you you do some some good old intimidation on him to hand over the licenses of trade to the damned emporium incorporated yeah, whatever, no whatever, whatever, whatever shell company was called yeah. wasn't it like jammy something jammy jammy dodgers wasn't it, wasn't it, Lorenzo's jam? Lorenzo, I yes, can't remember. Lorenzo's Vincet jam. Vincetti. Jammy Dodger or something. It was Vincetti's uh, chopped plum tomatoes. Oh, Vincetti, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can they be sun dried? I guess not sun dried in Dusk Bowl. Moon dried. <laughs> oh, that would be that would be quite a delicacy, I imagine. Yes. A loon yes. dried. In fact, there are like these special trees that emit sunlight. Only the very, very wealthy have access to them. Even I want one of those. They might even have one in their in their homes, yeah. And they use them to grow their own veg and things. At most delicacy. Well now I've got a goal. Really, <laughs> steal the tree. I want a southern tree. Mm. Sun tree. Well, I don't know. I don't imagine that's what they're called. But um... there are glowing plants that emit light. Oh no, bugs, right? No, I'm talking about the kind of the trees that give off the the light that grows other things. Um, they've, got, they've got one. They they talk about one in the. Um, in one of the novels, the Blade of the Dark novels. I can't remember what they're called, though. Hmm. So, yeah, that is the score. Complete. Complete. Complete and see. Um, Nearly made quite a mess of it. Yeah, I mean, it was. Yeah, one desperate role, you know, pretty. Not exactly the climactic end you'd plan. If a role playing campaign is something you could plan for a season. Um, I mean, it's also frustrating to be episode cool. nineteen as well. This is this really this nice. is this is kind of like the. Uh, it's a the, setup heist. No, it's more like the end of series four of uh, Buffy, mm. where they have the cheese episode after everything goes wrong. That's a great reference; everyone understands, right? Uh, I've, forgotten, well, I've forgotten the cheese cheese reference. At the end of season four, they do the whole nonsense in the institute. They have the big fight at the end. The last episode, they're all falling asleep, and they have all the dreams where the man with the cheese keeps interrupting their dreams. 
it's like a little just a little little delicious taste at the end rather than an actual big big wrap up we did the big we did the big heist this was just the cherry on top or oh, this is the uh this is the hatch what about that was a big finish yeah Lorenzo going to prison he's the hatch yeah. I think having a having a, uh, a an ambush, a vehicle ambush, where the vehicle ends up halfway into a river, halfway falling into a river, is pretty that. spicy. What I would have assumed you'd have done, or I would have done, if this was the big moment, is I could imagine to come like a. Uh, I'm trying to think. There must be something where like someone hands themselves over to the police. It's a big dramatic moment. Music's blaring. You just stand there, arms outstretched, waiting to take you. Whereas your choice, Laurie, was to just. F- fumble into the river head first <laughs> and get the shell. <laughs> that was your. It was your big moment. It's not going to be obvious that it's uh, on purpose. No, then, I it? suppose. But also, but... I did forget that this, that was the that was the goal of the session was it, was for was me to literally... end up being incarcerated. I was there literally Lorenzo remembering halfway through about the, on the dodge. Was like, oh shit! I'm gonna he actually... planned. No, remember <laughs> because this is all in you know this is yeah, yeah. Uh, blaze in the sure. dark. He planned sure. to forget. That was in the sure. plan that he'd forget to hand himself in and remember at the last <laughs> second. Yeah. That was the plan all along. Yeah, I think, um, I think if you remember the uh, the engagement roll and I gave you minus one dice for a faction interfering and this was oh. the uh, the blue coats were finally tracked you down. Oh. Um, so maybe, Lorenzo, you thought you had a bit more time. Uh, a downtime maybe left, but alas... This We're was your downtime now. As they say, <laughs> this is your This is your party. Yeah, does Lorenzo get to do like three hundred and fifty two downtimes before the next uh... So what what happened at the end? Was it um Saffron came in and picked up the the, t- the, the <laughs> target and then he slunk off into the night and then cops turned up like at half a minute later or something. And I got nicked. There we go, you were in the drink. Silas and Friedrich kind of peeled off. I can't swim. This... <laughs> Help me. Throw a laugh check out. Yeah, cops turn up and Lorenzo's just there like a wet dog in a in a life jacket. Oh. <laughs> well, you're just floating there, and you do another like Bond one liner, <laughs> <laughs> which would be. Um. Um. Things are going swimmingly. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, ship it. Yeah, ship it. That's another one. Nope. No. No. Ship happens. No. Oh, oh that boy. Title. <laughs> right, well, let's do our final payoff of the Saison. <laughs> Sorry, Saw. Saucy Saw. So, Saffron, are you doing the crew? Yeah. Stuff? I was going to do all the experience I had there. Let's see what I do. Oh, yeah, I did that. I, I just, I, was it seven desperate actions? I think I did that. I did. Uh, yeah, you, oh, you should just. Definitely express my beliefs and heritage. You should have just not turned up and taken the free downtime, to be fair. Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I mean for the for the hey. I could you described it so well. I can hey. I yeah, you described it so well the whole like wheel collapsing and then the plump it so was a very good it was worth it just for that visual gag, I think. Yes. To be uh, gag. Just to be that oh, I'll bring up the old uh I'll bring up the crew sheet. <laughs> See what we got. Right, so the rep again, two rep by default. Uh-huh. There you go. So include our plus, include our plus one. Ah, plus, and plus one for your your smuggling trait. Great. And, oh, you can um, and in this instance, the target was a citizen of Coleridge, which means a yeah, tier one. So no minus or plus for for tier shenanigans. Cool. Oh. Um, so cool advancement. I've got on the rep crew advancement. Yeah, we we executed a successful smuggling thing, right? You you well, you've acquired a new contraband source oh, for sure. Great. For sure. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, didn't know oh, what you mean. Yeah, didn't uh, no rep. Uh, didn't have a new express. No, yeah, yeah, not too much. So just I'm giving ourselves the one XP for that. Um, yeah, we didn't really bolster reputation or develop develop a new reputation. Very strange. I guess. So. 
and we didn't express any. Uh, did you do the rep, by the way? You had your three rep. Did the rep. Did the three okay. rep. Yep. yep. So in, yeah, so you're in, you're in the middles. Yeah. Um, okay, then. So in terms of coin, did any of you take a chance to get any coin? I don't think so, did you? I don't think so. No? No. I mean, I got two from, uh, from Saffron. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Saffron would have definitely like rinsed the pockets of the guy if he had any money on him. Whilst he was paralysed. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I don't think it's enough um, to make a coin. Make a coin, oh, yeah, fair enough. Um, maybe oh, if you searched the, the carriage, maybe there would have been uh, uh, something point. in there. But I've got two coins. Should I have more? I've or got two, too. Two? I got two. Yeah. All right. I think you will put coin into something. Recently, Some people vote. Um, I was empty. I, I last week, I was empty. Oh. Other people had more. I think you were all Milo. empty, and then you had you you because you got ten, didn't you, for the end of the War of the Crows? Mm -hmm. So you did yeah. four four in the stash, and then two each, wasn't it? The reason I took it was because that's where I was going to go. Because our coin is full yep. as a group, but it would, it would have to have vaulted it and then lost it when we took it back out. That's why I took it. Yes. So, so would yeah, we? When, when we max our rep next, does that mean we can get up another tier? So we've got strong hold. Yes, but you'll need to pay two times. Sorry, you need to pay eight times the new tier. tier. It's so 16. 16. That's a yeah. lot. We're going to have to start doing some things that are more profitable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So with that in mind, shall we try and save maybe up? Start doing things that are profitable. <laughs> we've just set up a whole new. We've just set up a whole new revenue stream. So I mean, that's gonna, you know. Oh yeah. That's exactly how this works. Um, you also have to pay a coin to. Uh, oh. Is your tithe? To who now? But we everyone's to your gone. mate Bazo Baz now. Oh, we did. We should negotiate. We should have negotiated that. Bazo Baz, the leader of the lamp black, lamp blacks, leader of Crow's Foot now. Is that? But is that? Are we, are we, are we friendly with the lamp blacks? We're allies. Yeah, it doesn't mean you don't, don't pay. Yeah, it's tough to, it's tough to pay, hmm. pay protection. Maybe that's pay a, we can bring that up in the next meeting, I think, for them. That's what I mean, we really should yeah, be. Yeah, I think we should be playing taxes to our allies. I don't think you that's can, right. You can, you can bring it up with your your one mate you're going to make in the Lost. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, like, every, every every day in the yard. And we, and we have to pay. I don't think we should. <laughs> it's just not right. It's like, oh. not right. I don't think you should. Look, I, workers, right, sir. I did economics at school, all right? I know a thing or two about the invisible wind. <laughs> of, of the tax man, yeah. Are you, are you, are you anti tax, Lorenzo? So it's part of your character. <laughs> He's anti everything, mate. Yeah. <laughs> anti establishment, mate. Well. Rather. Well, so heat. I think. Despite how it ended, I think I think this is standard exposure because where you picked was quite um, remote, like an mm -hmm. industrial place. So even though it was a, like a car chase, I think it was. Uh... And car chases must be dime a dozen in, in dust. I mean, surely it's a bit. Also, it, it wasn't. It, the chase didn't go on that long. I don't think. Right. Yeah, Lorenzo is um, telling the truth about his whole family being dead. That's right. <laughs> he's a, he's, a, he's a serial liar. <laughs> what do you mean? Chat's, chat's got you, mate. Yeah, I thought that was really funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> they were all dead. No, we, no you're not. <laughs> he, came, he came back from a holiday and he went to his home and it was all blown up and everybody just, there just was dead. So they, just you just assumed assume that everyone else is dead, man. <laughs> and that sure, way, when you find one of them is alive, it's like a little. Surprise, you know, it's a present. If some people are dead, knew. then all people must be dead. That's it's the... like leaving yourself with a little sticky note in the fridge with a, like a happy note, you know? Hey, like it's a happy little that. message. Hey, Vincelli, you got it. Your mum's come to visit again. Uh, thought you were, I thought they were all, your family was all dead. Yeah, me too. What happened? Third week in a row, she's visited to bring us some so, pasta aioli. 
when 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 do you actually learn that uh, Lorenzo's actually got like schizophrenia? It's like he's never actually he was never actually on the boats. <laughs> well, I mean, he is possessed by a bear, so maybe that explains his uh, maybe maybe bear's family are all dead. Ooh. Yeah, true. Maybe yeah, maybe, maybe he is already yeah. there. Maybe the memories have been planted in his head, and actually, if we do some kind of weird. What we need to do Christopher is Christopher Nolan time even travel. More confusing. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Better prison time, I'll sort that out. <laughs> nice. Um, and then, and then, and then. So, plus one heat for high profile, a well connected target. So, how I, much heat in total? Yeah, I think I'm going to add one for that. Uh, didn't happen on hostile turf. You're not at war anymore. Hooray. And you didn't kill anyone. Hooray. So uh, just three heat total. Oh, just three. But we're gonna. Well, the prison time will, will help with wanted, right? It will help with wanted. I think your heat will be uh, will stay the same. Reset. But yeah. Um, ah. All right. So let's do some entanglements. So what is your heated your heated level? Your heat level. It's uh, about three, five. Four, five. Wanted level three. For now. For now. Yeah, what's wanted level four? Is it um, they send tanks and helicopters after you, like in GTA? <laughs> Precisely. Yeah. Like you, you've got no choice to go to prison at that point, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's our, our friend reprisals, or I'm quite dead. <laughs> Oh, every time, every time, down, down, down. That's crazy. Yeah. That adds heat, right? No, entanglement is just um, because of heat. So, what is reprisals? An enemy faction makes a move against you, or a friend, connect or vice purveyor. Pay them one rep and one coin per tier of the enemy as an apology. Allow them to mess with you and yours, or fight back and show them who's boss. Hmm. Well, you can't have Belk again. <laughs> Belk. <laughs> I think. Let's all just rocks up and kicks the shit out of him again while he's still in hospital. <laughs> no, he leaves the hospital and he's like, but only I'm dead. We joined the black. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> um, I think you get back to the damned Emporium and. If you say what's his face has already escaped, I know he's really pissed. <laughs> no, he's not escaped. You know, you've, you've come home. You've brought him with him. You've got him. And I think there is a. Uh, you go inside, and on the floor in front of you, there's an exquisite Iruvian like feather from like the bird like the symbol of Iruvia like this desert bird this beautiful red plumed feather on the floor Saffron just spits on it Is it a bit soon for them to be creeping back out of that woodwork little shits <laughs> um, <Bugger off. laughs> and I think Saffron you know this to be in Iruvian customs in the sword fighting on a system of Iruvia, you know that this is like the black spot. You know, this is the, oh. this is the, you are marked for death now. Because of what we just did, surely that should happen. No, we I, think this, I think this is uh, a continuation from, from previous sure. 18 episodes. Um, do do yeah, I also know, have, does the uh, feather worth anything? Can we sell it? <laughs> <laughs> Sell it in the shop. I think it's valuable. Probably, you, should just, I think... Uh, you should just leave it in another Iruvian's house uh, as, a, as, as a little surprise <laughs> and be like, just a, just a. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh my god, what did I do? Yeah, I think you it's, could just it... take it back to the Sword Academy and be like, I think you lost something. Yeah, it just blew in out of the, off the streets. Uh, they're not at the lo- They're not at the Sword Academy anymore, are they? Probably the lamp blacks like just, don't know, boxing in or something. Um, yeah, I think they are very valuable. 
but I think because of the superstition and the Aruvian cult, I think people, the, I think merchants would know, like to be found with one, like the Aruvians are like they find a, a foreigner with one of the the special Aruvian feathers, then they they they're allowed to chop off their hands. Yeah, but I'm sure Saffron knows some dodgy people who don't really give. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> if we can get him a couple coin. Um, Saffron, you sell, the you sell the feather for one coin, and yes. uh, and uh, the GM will remember this. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a note right now, everybody. Well, I That's imagine they, the, 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 they probably have like portraits of Saffron, like up and yeah. around the. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, start, I'm starting to think as school. well, like at this point, when, when, they're, when they're doing their sword training, they've got a portrait of, of Saffron's <laughs> face on the target. So we training not really get this man. He's barred. <laughs> yeah, this is this is getting to that like uh, a fate worse than a fate worse than death <laughs> situation <laughs> where anything I do will actually no one cares because uh, you've been marked for death about five times already. It's exactly. And I'm still um, here. Yeah, I mean, you may not be here next season. We'll find out. All right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the bill comes due. I'm going to make the time lapse so long that you can't feasibly survive it. <laughs> 80 <laughs> years later. <laughs> Saffron visiting uh, Lorenzo in prison with his, like, uh, carer. Yeah. So, <laughs> go back what? to the nursing home and... Why, why, am, I, why am I here? Um, uh, that'd, that'd be a good heist. Nursing home heist. <laughs> <laughs> did um, did anybody? Yeah, Saffron, Morgan Freeman, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, three rascals <laughs> with the a joy de vivre in their old age that's, escaped that's the care it. home. Yeah, it's a pastiche. Joy de vivre. Yes, joy de vivre. Brilliant phrase. Thank you. Um, Is that French? Did uh, uh, we? Did anybody gain any XP? That French. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> European. Are you from France? Oh, I've always wanted to go to Europe. <laughs> so anybody, anybody? anybody. Uh, yeah, I got one. XP for anything? Yeah, what did you do? I commanded. I uh, uh, traded effect, so I had a desperate role. Command. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I got, I got a. Uh, XP in that, and I use yeah. that to put another pip in command. So I got two mm. in command. Um, I don't think I got anything else. I know I did. I I addressed the challenge with uh, violence. That is true. I think once. I don't think I yeah. tracked or hunted. I don't think so. So just two XP for me. Yeah. I don't think I got a damn thing. Uh, I did not address a challenge with stealth or evasion. I don't think. Didn't struggle with any issues from my vice. Don't think I particularly expressed any beliefs of any kind. <laughs> yeah, that's the downside of the more simplistic score, I guess. Less mm. XP. Uh, can I have an XP for expressing my beliefs and background from being revolted by the Aruvian plumage? Uh, no. What? It's a core ah. part of his background. <laughs> He's hating everything Aruvian. Yeah. That's true. You've earned about 10 XP from that so far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny it's been a bit of an earner, but you know, it's yeah. not my fault. I feel like there needs to be around. diminishing returns unless something significantly changes. So uh, otherwise, you'll be scoffing at Aruvians every session and not getting an XP for it. So uh... yeah, oh, I, I think there's, there's, there's something faintly unpleasant about like consistently, repeatedly rewarding <laughs> racism. <laughs> uh, he is a Ruvian. You can't be racist against Aruvians. That's probably not a scab we need to pick today. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> Rishi. <laughs> that's, push, that's, that's pushing it. I could send Savage. the Aruvians to Rwanda because I'm Aruvian. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and I think it fits the bill, but you know. It's fine. No, it has to be more than just uh, a, a scoff and a scowl, I'm afraid. 
I mean, it says you. I mean, the terrible that you expressed your background. If you look, like, how do you express a background? Yes, but I think it has to be something which is of note. Think there's no one. And of of and reward worthy. Well, I took a coin for it, so I'll, I'll take that as my experience. Yes, take your dirty coin. You're yeah. winning already. You filthy power gamer. You. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna use that coin to hire an assassin just to go and kill re, re, uh, Red. What are they called? Red. Red sashes. Red sashes. Red sashes. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. thinking red swords. Red red Robert. Yeah. Just hire, just hire yeah. Hawkeye to go and uh, head to Iruvia and just challenge them all to sword fights. Tell you what, give Lorenzo a coin. I'll beat up as many red sashes in prison as I can for you. I mean, you should want to do it anyway, then. It's war enemies. Yeah, true. That's true. I still want to um, do some prison gang shit. Well, I mean, there's not much point doing downtime activities insofar as healing and stress reduction because these will be reduced for you lovely by the time we restart play what we can do is we can talk about any long-term projects that you think you would be working on over this time maybe i want my fucking scarab <laughs> wasn't it just the I location want... Yeah, no, I don't actually want to automatically get it. But yeah, I think we agreed that the um, the initial... Well, the clock I've got is called Set Up the Scarab Score. Mm. Um, so I've found... I will have found exactly where it is, who has it, and that's it. Um, so the, we'll, be, we'll be set to do a score by yeah. finding out some more information about this person finding out some more information about their house and then robbing it. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a skeleton key that can open any lock. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is that what this scarab is? If if the if the legends be true. Ooh. Them legends. legends. Narrator. The legends were not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're supposed to be uh, like is it that thing where there are a set of relics belonging to this one person and they're all like really really powerful supposed to be really powerful and there's a secret society that are, are hunting them all down um indiana jones shit hmm. i uh, yeah, nasties are after them i made up this garab thing um without any knowledge of any pre-existing blades in the dark lore to apply it to oh so you just decided that there was a key that opened every lock Yep. Bold, sir. Very bold. <laughs> well, I decided, that, I decided that was a key that I, I uh, was reputed to open. Trusting that the GM would find a suitably narratively funny reality to match that legend. Yes, yeah, okay. Uh, interesting, maybe it, interesting. It doesn't. No, I think or maybe it has that. some other mystical power that is unrelated. Isn't, isn't there a key in this world that opens like ghost doors? Uh, yes, whispers can um, can open ghost doors. Yeah, um, which would have been a cool thing to, to explore more of. But I, yeah, I think I think what we can do with the scarab is maybe it is it is mystical in nature. It is ghostly in nature. Which would be a cool way to bring that back in. Sick. That was interesting. I'd like to see that through. <laughs> well, then maybe, yeah, maybe uh, you're like, yeah, Friedrich, don't wait for me. You gotta wait for me for that. I wouldn't, wouldn't dream of going without you, dear friend. <laughs> Got a year. Uh, do, do, does Lorenzo have any contact with the guys on, when he's inside? I think what will, yeah, I think it might be like visiting. Messages oh, yeah. or messages you can you can deliver. Um, we'll probably roll for like. Um, I think we can see if we can do it now. Actually, doing the whole visitation hours are a thing in Dusk <laughs> Um <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna. Do you want me to roll your incarceration roll now? 
Or do you want to you... wait until... Yeah? Okay. Wait until when? Mm. Beginning of the next... Season. What's the incarceration role involved? <laughs> well, I roll one dice for each PC tier level. But I'm giving you a plus one because of literally this whole score that you just did. Um, if you get a six... You do your time well, your crew gains one prison claim and plus one faction status with a faction that you assisted while you served your time. Oh, wow. A four to five is you keep your head down and do your time without incident. And one to three, it's horrific. You suffer a level of trauma. Oh, God. Um, but a trauma? But a critical... I've never told there'd be trauma in this. <laughs> but a critical, Fuck, you, know. you make a name for yourself inside. You gain three rep for your crew. And the prison claim and the faction status. Come on. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, do It'll that be one. A crit. <laughs> six, six, six. Definitely do that one. Right, I've never rolled a crit in this game, so. Uh, we'll... Six, six, six. Right. Everybody hold hands. Pick up six. <laughs> it's a six. We'll take it. Come it's on, a six. baby. Um, yes, you gain. Plus one faction status with a faction that you assisted while you served time. So you can think of who that is. Um, and we can also look at prison claims as well. Um, Who's the biggest dude in prison? I'm claiming him. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can do that for next time. Maybe we can work out what faction that is for next time. Um, unless you have some ideas, um... so it wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't just be uh, defaulted to the lost. It can be anybody. I think you Choose. get plus one with the lost. Can I come up with some fluff of what for working with them on this work. score? Yeah. Um, so you can plus them up to plus two if you wanted, or you could pick another faction that you wanted to to get in with. So have a think about that and have a look at the factions and which one might want to be in yeah. contact with. So it's plus one and what else? You said a prison claim. Yes, I'm just looking at the prison claims now. There is one called <laughs> smuggling. Yeah. Um, you have plus two load whilst incarcerated. Also, you may choose to carry coin in place of load for purposes of bribes or acquiring assets in prison. I think that's more like the... If you're actually, like, playing out being in prison. Uh, Which I do want to do at some point. Otherwise, him having load is not really relevant. Yeah. Yeah. Or guard payoff. Take plus one dice to your tier roll when a member of your crew is incarcerated. Oh, it's already. I guess that kind of. I guess it kind of persists, essentially. So the next time you're in prison. Um. Oh yeah, you got friends. You've got lasting friends among the guards that can. Yeah. Um, get your extra bread rolls. <laughs> Those are the only two you can do actually from the beginning. Um, so guard payoff or or smuggling to get plus two load or coin inside or you get plus one dice next time someone's incarcerated. Plus one dice next time. Okay, so you, could, you got your guard payoff. Okay. That is cool. Definitely, yeah. Definitely guard payoff. Um, Saffron, you are... Quiet. Oh, yes, I'm waiting for uh, the, the dramatic stuff to play out. I don't want to interfere with the, the prison stuff. It's all cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, what do you um, you have any any sort of long term things you would be doing so, in mean, there? It all depends. So, the, there was one thing I wanted to do that I didn't, which I wanted to continue the, the conversations with the Dimmer Sisters. Hmm. Um, but also, there's downtime stuff that's more basic, like just crafting some shit. But it more depends what we can do because I think I was going to use a free time last session to do the demo sister stuff so it depends what we've got on the cards um, but that's really the only kind of project I'm working on is, is continuing that conversation and trying to learn more from them that's the main 
yeah thrust what i'm after with them so whether that's a free time action or a downtime i, I could do my downtime to start crafting some shit if we're going to do free time or if this is all we're going to do is this then i'd use that to talk with them sisters don't know what yeah i haven't quite plays. worked out how to do the the long breaks i don't want to give you like 20 downtime it seems a bit insane yes well, you assume in the in the year they're doing stuff, so it's all yeah. So I'm not gonna be like, oh, well, I craft a hundred grenades because you assume you're also doing stuff that uses yeah. those grenades. I'm all right being like, you know, yeah. I think it makes sense that you haven't just come away with stuff, but maybe yeah, we do. Maybe down. we do the traditional two down times, but you get like the the, the best result automatically. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Well, that because one thing I was gonna do, I was gonna, um, I would need to research a new. Project. If I was going to create something specialist, like with yeah. examples like flash grenades and stuff, so it's a question whether the, uh, at least the, that could be learnt in that time. Yeah, that'd be more. So, so fair. Friedrich finishes his scarab score um, in one go. So you do have another one, uh, Friedrich, as well. Another downtime. If you wish. Um, yeah. And then Silas, you can also get a couple of big. You could chunk out oh you could finish your templeton's terrors for next time yeah if you do it that'd twice be, that, that, that'd be a reasonable outcome i think of him spending this time uh starting to go out and try and get his uh get, get his get his name about for his bunch of little little emporium enforcers um, yeah recruiting some cho choicey fighters and things uh, and that'll be that'll be us having a uh a cohort which is quite interesting. Nice. So there's, I guess there's, there's some examples of stuff. So it all depends. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the end result of. I mean, for me, the end result of talking to Dimmer Sisters was to just learn some cool shit. I think there was a mention of the Leviathan blood, but I'm not 100 sure what that um, uh, 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 could have. It was all. I want a note on Leviathan blood, the Sparkcraft Guild to find the find the pure form of spark. So it's a question, which to me, I wrote down, we also discussed it, means nothing. Is is that an end goal of something narrative, or is that more just unlocking the ability to create more cool shit? I can't remember if you had a thought on what the Dimmer Sisters could even provide. Tell, say, say it again, what you wrote down? I wrote down, this would have, wouldn't have been, I meant this up, this would have come from something you said or mentioned, but I've written down here, going to the Dimmer Sisters for, uh, to find out about the, the Levi Leviathan blood and the Sparkcraft Guild to find the pure form of spark. It sounds very exciting. <laughs> um, but, I definitely but, did not say that. Uh, I, someone's, I didn't write it. <laughs> no, I did write it, did but write I, didn't it. It, <laughs> I didn't make it up. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think, uh, yes, yes. Because the yes, yeah, so the the two ways to make um, the two types of fuel are electroplasm made from ghosts and leviathan blood, which is harvested from leviathans that swim in the sea, big demon things. Leviathan wow. blood is a lot purer fuel source, higher quality. So a lot of the really good sparkcraft stuff is fueled by leviathan blood. So this would definitely unlock your kind of um, sort of next level of of tinkering so to speak okay so would they help me just get access to that would do they have vials of it or more they help find how to actually get it ourselves or so it was specific specifically it was this one dim uh, dimmer sister who was also like a amateur spark crafter kind of thing you're both kind of on the outside of the spark craft guild so this is kind of not really allowed but I think that the idea was that you would both like work together mm -hmm. and share knowledge, and perhaps so... even perhaps even cultivate like a w with them you would cultivate maybe ideas for scores to help you get more Sparkcraft stuff or to help you get in with okay. the guild. Okay, that yes. So I like that. So we can say in the year that relationship is developed to the point of yeah if we if we want they were an access to, they're a they are a i don't know i guess they're a resource we can call upon to at least provide information or help if there is a uh something like that they can at least be kind of our access to the 
arcane, I suppose, in light of not having anyone on the, on the party who could do that, if we did need sort of, no, an asset or information. So that relationship could be strengthened. And I guess I would be nice to come back, I guess, with a new uh, uh, creation planned, a new, um, a new Sparkcraft. Bah, 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 what am I saying? Uh, like a, 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 um, like a, a plan, so I can a recipe exactly, so I can craft something. Yeah. I was looking. I was looking at. It's hard to understand some of the signs. So, so the Sparkcraft stuff, and there's obviously the arcane stuff. They're not. They can't really work together because those are the two power sources: Sparkcraft and uh, Ecto. Not, did you say Ectoplasm, or did you say? The Sparkcraft is actually the combination of both, so the, the mechanical and the and the arcane. Hmm. Because there's some cool suggested stuff that basically one of them sounds basically like a uh, Ghostbusters trap. It sounds pretty cool. A pl- like they mentioned it. They, they, this is it. That's a ghost scourge, a pleasantly charged chain connects to a spirit bottle to entangle a spirit and draw it into the bottle. Which basically sounds like Ghostbusters trap to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's only arcane, so obviously... I don't think I can create something that's both Sparkcraft and arcane, because like you say, Sparkcraft is... the two together. I think you could do like a long-term project sort of thing where you hire the Dimmer Sisters to help you make it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, like that. And then that will be the product of your long-term asset. Yeah, so like that because imagine it'd be like eight, an eight, uh, an eight-segment clock. Cause that seems quite long. So, yeah, if I could come back, maybe I have to think about it. If I could come back with a awesome arcane plan i'd have to craft it but having the uh having the plan created would be pretty pretty cool they yeah. mentioned like a spirit lamp as well an yeah, yeah. electroplasmic lamp with a focus beam to repel ghosts sounds pretty cool yeah we'll see that you've got that okay cool i'll figure out what it is and then i'll need to craft it when we come back but um what are we calling it the uh Bustin. <laughs> makes make me feel, good. feel good. <laughs> Does the feel good, the ghosty feel good? Yeah, no, I'm not going to remember what I, that meant. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the ghost weapon, TVC, exactly what it is. Yeah, I'm afraid of ghost. Because it's tough. It's tough because obviously I can, I can kind of, I can, the crazy thing is fantastic because you can think of whatever you want, but they write such good stuff here. It's hard not to just kind of steal their samples they've come up with because it's like well that's pretty fucking cool but yeah it'd be nice to have a try try and have a think um it must what to do. Have think. exactly you can, you can borrow gus if you need a ghost fighting dog we can <laughs> train on him train it could definitely be part of the practice yeah, who's looking after gus while you're in prison good point i mean he's a ghost dog but surely they would not let him and you probably look after himself surely I, I don't know. Well, I think Lorenzo would uh, nominate one of you guys, but I'm not sure which. We can look after him. If, if, if he's a ghost, I could leave him with the Dimmer Sisters. Would they uh, look after him? Probably, yeah. Probably quite good uh, yeah. ghost yeah. Old kennel here. Yeah. You all right with that, Lorenzo? Does Saffron could take him over to the Dimmer Sisters? Nah. Can... Even no? him with the creepy bog witches doesn't really <laughs> appear. Oh, sorry, the ghost dog. Oh, no. He's not a real dog. He's a ghost dog. <laughs> That's exactly where he would be. Yeah, well, he's, he's used to the finer things. He was living in our mansion, wasn't he? Mansion? Yeah. We don't have a mansion, we have a shack. No, the, 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 the Vincetti mansion, oh, come on. Oh, sorry, of course, sorry. sorry. Yeah, of course. Wait, how's that not coming to play in our... Because it's derelict. I went there once and it was all uh, abandoned and destroyed, <laughs> wasn't it? So he'd be very That's at home in the Dimmer Sisters place, then. Yeah, true. Well, Saffron's not looking after him, he's too old for this shit. Silas, Silas needs a companion. He looks like he needs a companion. I think, I think Lorenzo would have nominated Silas to be. Uh, I, I, I think Gus. he'd develop a a begrudging, a begrudging friendship with, with Gus. Yeah. And watch out, Maya likes to steal people's um, animal familiars and make them his own. So I'd be careful if I. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Is this is not it? Is it with Lorenzo not anyone. In... When Lorenzo steps through the door, is uh, is Gus not going to leave Silas aside? <laughs> He's going to be like, Gus, who's who's <laughs> Gus? This, this is, is uh, Rufus. <laughs> 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 I mean, Rufus. 
<laughs> that, that is the start of the uh, the rom com, right? You guys now have shared ownership of this ghost dog. <laughs> That's it. This, this is the start Marley of the civil war of the gang. What do you mean? <laughs> this is oh, the intercom. Now we've got. Now we've got the intercom. Yes. <laughs> XP, XP point. Put it on the board. Take my dog. <laughs> Take my heart. That is, is literally what it's like here because we both have little beds for Pepper to come to. So then, uh. when she comes to one room, not the other, we're like, hee hee, she loves me more. <laughs> who's who's overall winning? Well, Emily was winning, but then she went to London for three days. Oh. So, got into the habit of sitting with me. You know, That's cats the habit, habitual cat uh, creatures. That's so, anyway. Um, so, is there any, any other free time things we want to do? I think, you know, so we've got... I, I imagine you guys are just keeping your heads down, trying mm -hmm. not to, making sure that wanted is is fully uh, removed and your case is closed and s quietly keeping your smuggling routes going with the fog yeah, hound. How's, and... how's, 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 it, how's it look then as an operation then? So what is, where's the supply coming from? How's it getting in prison? What's going back out? Who's, who's running it for us? I don't know. I mean, it's going to be um, either the, I think the, the fog hound is probably going to be the one who's, Captain Vale is probably um, running that, that those shipments. Because we, so we secure the legal. So they, 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 they fire the following coming on. But of course, we're smug. We're putting shit within that the, the, the toilet paper and the gruel that's going in. We're, we're smuggling in, yeah, drugs and then what like and then what what not. Yeah, sweet. That's awesome. Which gives Lorenzo a big head up, right? Because he's obviously connected to people, bringing in all the best stuff. Yes. Could yeah. I and it earned you that six instead of a three. So, uh, nice. All worth it. <laughs> Can I just redo my incarceration thing a bit? Can I take smuggling instead of guard payoff? Just because it makes way more sense fluff wise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I've chosen the gang I want to be helping. Yep. The grinders. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yes. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I've read the description before choosing them by the name. I think it was the name uh, was the finding. It honestly, honestly wasn't. They, they uh, relate to Lorenzo. They're a vicious gang of former dockers and Leviathan blood refinery workers. Um, so very much. And they uh, quite a few of them have different um, mutations from working in the toxic rain. But Lorenzo's used to that from being on the Leviathan ships. A lot of the workers, many. It was, it was actually abnormal to not have a mutation. So, yes, with them. Nice. The grinders. And they're allied with Oof, Ironborn. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, the the Skullflanders. Um, somewhat unexcitingly, uh, Friedrich was going to spend his other downtime opportunity um, laying on a chaise long, eating uh, candied nuts and generally everything. Uh, so he gets to tick his healing clock and heal. Well, when you fill your healing clock, uh, all your harms go down by one level. They move down vertically one layer, yeah. Yeah, although... And I, I currently have two level one harms. You can... Um, you don't have to heal uh, with your downtime because you'll, you'll heal over the, the time period anyway. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go back to the phone board then. <laughs> uh, do I get downtimes in prison? <laughs> I don't know. Let's ask Prison Mike. Is it one big downtime, technically? Oh, yeah. They're, they're laughing at you, mate. Absolutely laughing at you. I think, no, I think you get... um. You heal and, and, and de-stress and stuff, but I don't think you uh, do much more than that. All right. Okay, then. Okay, then. You are, yeah, you're, you're working the fields. All right. You're breaking rocks. Labouring? Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Dear. Um, got, to, uh, got to create the cohort. Oh, 
if Silas is, uh, Silas is obviously running his sort of uh, dodgy police academy situation where he's trying to figure out exactly how these thuggos are going to be. Because the goal of the thuggos, apart from just have a bigger gang with more assets, is to um, is actually all sort of wrapped up in uh, winning winning the people back over somewhat, or it's wrapped up in a bunch of things, of, of which that is one. So he's probably he's got a bunch of thuggos, right? And they're probably, you know, from the fighting pits and the docks and like you know, maybe there's a, another former blue coat in there somewhere or a defector mm. from the grey coat or something like, you know, just a, a mishmash of those kind of people. And looking at the um, looking at the description cohorts, if we're tier one, well, I don't know if you can actually shed some light on this, Ollie. It says, if your gang is tier zero, your scale and quality is zero, which makes it one or two people. When your gang is tier two, the gang and quality is two and two and up to 12 people. So I like to think that somewhere in the middle of that, this is probably just actually about six blokes. Yeah. So anyway, so there's a little, a little mishmash of dudes. And um, so yeah. Are they all, so, yeah, are they all dudes? Is it, a, is it a dude fest? No, no, they're, 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 they're not all dudes. <laughs> And all old dudes. Uh, I uh, I like to think that Marlene could be one of them. That'd be fun. Uh, maybe like could have like brought over yeah, you... some of the temporary grouping of fighters to sort of they could they could be part of the permanent group. Yeah, you could um, absorb them into the the bigger cohort. Yeah, um, I think that would be good. And I do think you could get Belk as he comes out of a uh, prison as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I feel like he should be your uh, second in command. <laughs> yeah, he's a good oh, he's a good sergeant good. of the men. Yeah, exactly. he's good. He, he's he's going to help keep them um, somewhat in order. Yeah. Um, but they need their edges and flaws. <laughs> um, and I'm I'm ignoring over as to what they would be because um, we've got fearsome, independent, loyal, and tenacious. Um, fearsome pretty good setting because they're all pretty scary scary folks uh, but loyal would be would be nice um, and I think there's a case for them being loyal as well because these this or at least this core of people mm. broadly are are kind of nurtured relationships um, or like you know fellow fellow fighters that sort of thing um, so I don't know I don't know what makes more sense for them to be yes does uh does anyone else help Silas in this um, hiring of cohort? Are you, are you in on the on the interview panel? Yeah, Saffron has been not very helpful. He's just being overly critical for no reason. Just being grumpy about it. So helps a strong word. He's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just like Pretty sitting there, like, uh, like <laughs> no. He's, he's he's being too excitable. <laughs> Too much energy. What's this? What's this like two-week gap in your, in your in your CV? <laughs> Measuring yeah. culture uh, questions. Another completely bullshit, uh, intangible business fuckery. <laughs> if you could be a type of lemon, what type of lemon would you be? Oh, I think I'd be a citron. Oh no. dear, oh dear. Right oh. off it, board. Um, to answer your question, Ollie, uh, I mean, Friedrich could try and help, but I don't think he would be all that much use. Never worked a day in his life. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. Uh, I just like the idea of you all sitting on an interview panel and Silas trying to seriously interview people, and Saffron and Friedrich just being <laughs> detrimental to the whole experience. Uh, Saffron's still just trying to stick people to their seats. Uh, yeah. and see, see how they react. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I imagine one or, one, one or two of them explode in rage, uh, and we're all a bit like, mm, yeah. that, one, that, one, that, one, that one might be too spicy. <laughs> imagine yeah. Saffron's like the Simon Cowell of this, and he's just like shitting on people as they walk That's up it. to the, to the stairs. No, for no reason whatsoever, just for the, the giggles of it. If you can't deal oh, with man. having your, your asses stuck to the seat, you can't be part of the Emporium. Just a big hazing, really. Did you, did you put cling film on the <laughs> toilet as well? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> That's our toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifices must be made. Uh, so I think fearsome, <laughs> probably, probably fearsome, isn't it? Yeah. 
but they do therefore need to have a floor. And I feel like it's going to be... Well, uh, they can be principled. I feel like that fits really? your... I feel like that's what you would... Um, I think that's what, what Silas Recruit, wants. yeah. Um, so the thing with the, the floor is that the cohort has an ethical values that it won't betray. So they would need to be established as to how that's going to work. Because, you know, uh, I think with the best will in the world is probably a, a, a stretch, but um, he's not actually recruiting, uh, you know, um, ethically sound, do-gooder lawmen. Um, there's, but then, so, you know, there, but there'll have to be some sort of drawback, I think, to this, this floor. Uh, you know, Silas, and even now we're starting to work with um, the Lost. Uh, maybe, maybe they're starting to get, you know, a bit. Um, maybe they're not they're, they're not happy with beating down on the common man. You know, we won't we won't be going to doing any messing around with the Dockers. Half of us are Dockers uh, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Maybe so. Maybe maybe that's uh, maybe they have the sort of principles about that. Yeah, um, I like that. Think, apart from, yeah, Belcom and Marlene's, maybe she she didn't rightly bring that one who cocked up the the score. So maybe it's just her, another fighter, Belk, who's sort of the earth anyway, yeah. um, and probably has, has joined you because he's, he's tired of beating up on workers and shaking them down for the blue coats. Uh, and then maybe the other ones are like, yeah, like uh, uh, for, foreman and stuff like that, who've yeah. been made 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 cut loose and stuff. Maybe maybe this uh, this little beginning of an entanglement with the lost actually is, has gotten Silas's brain cogs working, and uh, maybe this is his political awakening. Mm. Um, ish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like how you've got your little uh, you militia are... of Batman growing, uh, fear, well, so, but, you know. Yeah. Principle. This is sort of um, it's sort of something that I thought was worth asking what everyone else would think about this because um, they're they're definitely like they're an asset to the crew, but um, but Silas has basically recruited his own little group of um, more loyal to him than you probably thuggos um to go and help do our bidding but i wonder if anyone worries if uh you know what anyone would think about that uh, so you got your you got your essay and eventually you're gonna purge them in favor of the ss not the plan <laughs> no. it didn't need to go that way <laughs> It's a, it's, a, it's a Nazi Germany reference. GCSE history. Um, everyone, everyone's cool with it then, I guess. Uh, maybe they're just not reading into it too much. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you're going to try and usurp complete power from the gang with your six blokes. I don't think you're going to. Certainly you know, I don't think. I don't think the power's going to go to your head straight away. I think Lorenzo trusts Silas enough to see him temper this group into a weapon and then use them appropriately. I don't think he's gonna... I don't think you'd think you're gonna do anything untoward anyone. Yeah, I and think I, that's a good well, amount of not, any, not anyone on the group. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> untoward things will be done. We're, think, pretty, we're pretty loyal to, the, to each other at this point, I, I think. I think so. I think Saffron's just happy to have lots of other young-bodied legs to be running around doing everything for him. Young-bodied legs... Stop picking me up. Unbodied. Stop picking me up on my combination it's of words. So good to have a good so yes, supple and young bodied. Oh. Oh. I made some damned emporium short shorts for us to wear. Come on, lads. <laughs> what a do laps. Of Go do some laps around young minds. Do laps. Ignore me. I'll be sitting here. Got a got a girlfriend of you. Uh, Saff Saff Saffron's no, list no. of uh, like interview requirements. So he's like. Passing, sliding them over on a piece of paper, and Silas is turning it over, going, like, "This is insane. Not curvaceous enough." <laughs> saffron has oh. got the finest pornography in all of Dustmore. That's it. Calves could be <laughs> plumper. I mean, that was the treasure he stole from Iruvia all those oh, years ago. Yeah. 
Just that ah, most yes. disgusting old man era. Is it, is is it Campbell's <laughs> wife on the on the on the calendar? <laughs> on the laundry calendar, is that why he's so mad? Yeah, the Aru that's why he's after him. Yeah. Got my wife. Hotties of Aruvia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a charity photo shoot. That was a charity calendar. <laughs> How were... dare you use that in malicious ways? <laughs> they were tasteful and good at tension. <laughs> <laughs> Um, She's a Christian woman. <laughs> Man, you two really enjoy doing your Northern Irish accents like, in a big way. <laughs> they're, they're, they're very It'll good. It'll literally be every, every Christmas, I think. We, uh, although we shouldn't do it. We shouldn't do it because it will probably give our stepdad like triggers from North, <laughs> North, from uh, Northern Ireland. But and then we've also got our Irish in-laws' father staying this year as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So no Irish accents. <laughs> Yeah, firmly no. I oh, can't hardly go. We're gonna cope. It won't happen. It won't, we'll, we'll do it. Will you marry me, Grace? Grace. Um. Yeah, and I think we can establish rules like what the cohort can and can't do. But I think it's cool that they're principled as well because it means that there's. I think it's safe to say they're not going to do everything Silas orders them to do. Yes. I think that I think, in it as long as it benefits them, them, yeah. Yeah, they've they've all signed up for their own reasons. Uh or whatever their like vision for their own personal vision for what this little crew is supposed to be about. So I guess they might, you know, yes. go and go and do this. They might be like Psh. not really any for that. Um I think that's good. And I think that's better than the motto, because I was like the other one is like the cohort savage, the cohort is excessively violent and cruel, and I'm like Got a lot of that going on already. Like, <laughs> sorry, boss, we killed them. Um, um, yeah. So I think it'd be interesting to see how we use them because they can obviously be sent off to do stuff, or they can be brought along to do stuff. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think I think I think we'll just see. Won't we? We'll see how it plays out. We shall. Um, I think you'll have to bash some heads together, so. Well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I think maybe one last thing to mention then. For, for your downtime, I was wondering if you would be, you know, you know that fancy members club that you go to. Mm. It's called the Centuralia Club. And it is the headquarters of the Circle of Flame, a refined secret society of antiquarians and scholars who are trying to track down artifacts. That sounds like something Friedrich would have signed up to at age 12, like the Beano <laughs> fan club. Got the, got the tote bag and everything. Yeah, yeah. I think... Um, Maybe you let slip, you know that where this, you, you hint, you know, co coquettishly that you know the location of the scarab. And um, you get you get sort of brought into a, a smoky, closed off part of the, of the club. And you meet, you meet the seven who are the, the joint leaders of this secret society. Oh. And they uh, and they asked to sponsor your acquisition of said artifact. Mm. Well, my my lords and ladies, you are too kind. I've been uh, frequenting this August establishment for many decades. No, I haven't. I haven't been in Duskfall for many decades. For many years now, uh, never have I. I experienced such charity. It is most, most agreeable. Uh, it is an, on, an honor to have received such a request. Um, Matt, I inquire as exactly the nature of the partnership you propose. So one of them speaks to you. Uh, let's see here. 
Lady Penderin. Very nice whiskey brand. I feel like I feel like they took a lot of the, the posh names from like fancy <laughs> drink brands. Um, she says, "Ah, oh, my my dear, my dear Friedrich." We would simply like to leverage our vast resources to make sure that your acquisition of the Scarab is a success. And perhaps we will be able to provide you with resources to make it more of a guarantee that you will be successful. And in return, we could perhaps share ownership of the treasure. We are both able to benefit from its powers to, to profit in future endeavours. Okay. So, Friedrich's just going to say yes. Um, but I'm going to say right now, he's going to counterfeit it and give them the fake. Um, that's out of character, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, Friedrich will, will will kind of smile graciously uh, and look Lady Penderin in the eye and just wait, like uh, hold her gaze for a second or two, and then. Um, bow a little, you know, just kind of uh, politely, but not, not obsequiously, mm -hmm. um, and just uh, say, <clears throat> Lords and Ladies of the Seven, I would be churlish to refuse. Uh, your assistance would no doubt be invaluable in what I can only imagine will be quite an involved um, retrieval process and indeed um, shared ownership of the treasure would be the least I could do to repay years of such years of uh, membership in your establishment she says wonderful news please see our man and he shall provide you with all we have on the the, uh, and then it's like, I imagine it's in some sort of um, institute building or, or, or museum or something, and they, they're able to provide provide you with the uh, the plan as to the building and like ways to get in and stuff. Um, and as you as you turn to go, one of them speaks to you, and this 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 person is called Harvale Brogan. And as you reach for the door handle. Mm. Arvale says, We know your reputation as a thief and a criminal. You would be wise to make sure that you see your end of the bargain in this and do not attempt to double cross the seven. We are powerful enemies to have in this city. Don't be foolish. You may rest assured, my Lord Brogan, that I am well aware of what it is to have enemies in this city, powerful and not, and when Friedrich der Vierter von Haig makes a deal, he always fulfills on what he has in mind. He looks at you, stands up, maintaining eye contact, offers an extremely well manicured hand and says, shake. 
Friedrich, without a moment's hesitation, goes into a wide grin, takes his hand and shakes it enthusiastically. Nice. Cold calculated. I was thinking I was thinking maybe I could do that um spider ability where it's like the unbreakable oath. Yeah, the ghost country oh, like that. That's that that'd be silly. I was thinking you were gonna do that. I was thinking, <laughs> when is the black spot gonna appear in his hand? I was thinking, oh shit. I think <laughs> I, I think maybe it's it's like um people like this, I think, know that exists and is a thing. So maybe they just try and sometimes they just try and bluff. And they're like I'm gonna shake your hand and you don't know if I can do this thing or I'm gonna do a ghost contract. But I'm gonna call your bluff kind of thing. Friedrich always wears gloves. <laughs> I don't know why whether that's uh, an effective protection against <laughs> mystical ghost contracts. Um, <laughs> uh, in fact, can I spend my whatever it is to 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 have my gloves? be woven with a very rare um, fabric from far-flung lands um, created by um, years-long ritual processes um, and the uh, you know dissolution ritual dissolution of about 20 different ghosts to be ghost proof gloves <laughs> only only useful for this specific situation of shaking with someone who might be giving me the ghost and no other circumstance. <laughs> I feel like that would be a whole other long-term project to find you, to find those. You, <laughs> you imagine Wrong. you meet that NPC after you get those gloves and he's like, I do not trust the man who shakes without gloves or with gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might if have you those rare gloves that I just made up. If you would <laughs> remove them, please. <laughs> I yes. like the feel of them. <laughs> yeah, it's like the the cheers, right? It's, open, it's that's the... a little bit creepy. I don't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> when he goes to give you a handshake, he tickles the inside of your palm with his hand. Could you? Okay, well we'll just have to take our chances then. Maybe I've been ghost cursed. Maybe I haven't. No, I think you would know if you had been. Um, there's probably like, you know. That thing in Harry Potter, the Parabellum thing. Was it, what? Alex? You know what Parabellum. it is. Parabellum. When the two ones that are from the same ah, phoenix. Oh, ah. oh good. I'm, I'm glad. Oh, you nerd. <laughs> I was glad I didn't remember it. And I was at fucking Harry Potter World at the weekend. I'm, I'm a nerd about... Uh, and you're saying that didn't, didn't come up? <laughs> no, it didn't. I've forgotten now. I'm glad some things have gone out of my head. Oh, but this has gone out live on the internet. Now everyone knows I know Harry Potter shit. I'm going to get cancelled. Mm, we know that you listen to the audiobooks every year. This is very true. But I do not stan, internet. I do not stan. Do you stan, do you stan Stephen Fry after his recent comments? Yeah, he's getting some shit too. And he was the best thing about the audiobooks. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sort of unsurprised. He's an, an old yeah. school... Yeah. Yeah. Slightly misogynist gay man. He's, and he's not, done it. I'm not super surprised that he likes that he doesn't like trans women either. Um, <laughs> he doesn't like the normal women, the non the, the, the cis women either. So yeah, he's, he's done a John Cleese and all them. No, I didn't know about that. That's disappointing. Although it's also far from the first disappointing thing that Stephen Fry has said or done in the past fifteen years. So. Well. He's old. He's getting a bit confused. He doesn't know. He doesn't know who. He, he doesn't know what his politics are supposed to be anymore. <laughs> on that uh, bombshell. Yep. Yeah, bro, bro, <laughs> yeah, bro, right. bro, 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 is not great. What a way this. to wrap up. <laughs> it's just all your, let's just go all your British left-wing com comedy heroes are all shit. Yeah, let's I have a full. Night, let's have a full mask off moment. Let's list all the people who we vehemently disagree with. Um, I think Tony Robinson and Hugh Laurie are still standing strong. I feel like. And um Rowan Atkins has been off for a while. And Michael Palin, I think. Oh yeah, he's still I'm a good sure. he's a good egg. Nah, I'm sure he's Hugh Laurie's fucked up recently, hasn't 
I think he's people don't like him for some reason, don't they? No, I think he's stayed the line. I always assume not. Uh, same as you. I think you just assume it. Mm. But I think he's Hugh Laurie. Does he suck? <laughs> it's not because they've said something isn't a big deal. Because they don't think though? it is a big deal. Well, there's originals. I think with a lot of with a lot of uh, older era progressive celebrities, it's more it's priorities rather than actual like inbuilt nastiness. Like they just. They just don't see lots of social issues, especially gender yeah. issues, being old, a big deal. Old privileged people. Lots of old school, uh, like hardcore leftists, are like that as well. Lots of lots of uh, radical trade unionists are incredibly uh, oh, look yeah. down their nose at gender politics. They think it's yeah, a distraction yeah. from the past war. That's the, that's the whole Labour Party split, isn't it? It's the the Corbynites versus the old school um but yeah i'll probably cut all this out in the uh, in the youtube version it's, uh, <laughs> it's just, such a just, weird thing to end up but just um, end it at uh, uh, alex knowing uh, priority and contentum and then just end it there no <laughs> more context <laughs> yeah and i yeah I'll, uh, and last thing to say gameplay wise yes lorenzo you will finish your family murder knowledge clock whilst you're in the clink no you and you and slain from the lost are gonna no. Have a whole side quest where you uh, where you find out that. So um, I will did, close my, that did my little you. did my little oh. visit to the club count as my second downtime, or can I have? Uh, uh, I was gonna tr I was gonna do a boring train and just take a a pip on resolve. Um, yeah, you can do that if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, boring, but very very good. Yes. Um, mm. Well, I will use this last nine minutes before I'll let you go for the holidays um, to maybe just des to describe maybe what, what season two will look like. And I think because because I'm not going to set you on a path such as the War of Crowsfoot, like we, we did this season, it's going to be more driven by what you guys want to do. And you've already got a lot of irons in the fire already to go and to go and chase after so i think instead of having a overarching narrative that will go from episode 1 to 2019 again we will have just episodes that will be multi-parted based around the score and the objective um, rather than numbered episodes which will make it easy for people to be able to jump into episodes they like the sound of as well not having to go back to episode one um hmm. Pretty and then we'll have easier. we'll have we'll have the faction game running in the background as well, um, and all those things. Pro probably makes it a bit easier for you as well. You don't have to come up with as much if we are kind of like coming up with the heists and then oh, the baddies kind of. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the, <laughs> you know, the the story kind of molds itself in a way that you know, from the RP every week, we'll get more and more baddies down the line, like. How uh, Campbell became so many, a bigger threat. So many pests off the GM buttons right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we certainly want to expand our geography, don't we? We want to be doing. Which have we done any? Have we done any heist outside of Crow's Foot? We want these... to make some bloody money. <sighs> money. Well, that was something yeah. I was going to say as well. For for next season, we will start will. with a crew goal. Yes. An end money, game. Money, money, money. Yes. Okay. First, first objective of that new goal, right? Fuck those taxes. I'm getting a meeting <laughs> with uh, the Land Blacks and we're renegotiating that shit. That's yeah, what that's going fair. On. That does sound strong... like a corker of a season opener. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tax. And we're back. Welcome to 2024, viewers. Uh, you join us in the boardroom with Lorenzo and Baz. It's getting heated. <laughs> it's yeah. the apprentice. Baz says, Baz, Baz says, yes, you can not pay it like everyone else and you can lose status with us. Next. <laughs> Who would ever stop a brand new song? Agenda! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the memo, memo notes. <laughs> Cut to everyone except Lorenzo smuggling 40 tons of gold out, <laughs> <laughs> out of somewhere. Yeah. Lorenzo's back in prison. <laughs> Then we definitely against the the Lamplex. 
we were certainly captivated <laughs> by the concept. Either. The concept of the Deadlands. What was it called? I thought Deadlands, Land of the Deads. Ghostland, yes. Mistland. Ghostlands. We were. Yes. We Probably were not certainly. that much money to be made out there. Yeah, but you know, Whoa. fun, fun shit. You never know. There is. Can you imagine the amount of dead? The amount of yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine the amount of looting. Imagine the amount yeah. of people looting out there. You said Skurlock. Yeah, what? Again, what a daring score that would be. Yeah. Skurlock had a house out there, didn't he? Say? <laughs> Going out there and he's... picking through corpses for two hours. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a, a hideout out there, which I think actually it wasn't something that you were supposed to know. His oh, okay. Skurlock Manor is in Six Towers, um, but he has been maybe he has been spotted. Rumors sort of spot him in the Deathlands. I mean, Marlon, maybe you're you're picking out a body, and then the ghost just starts coming out of it. You know, it could become daring. Yeah, it, it could. Yeah, it wouldn't be safe. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. No, no. But also, just the idea of pilfering bodies for two hours is hilarious. <laughs> Walk Yoink. away with the seven coin. This is bloody brilliant, lads. Why don't we just do this? <laughs> Same again next time. What's all this smuggling bullshit? Mm. All right. Um, yes, that's going to be interesting. So we'll do a crew goal. Let's get a crew goal for next time. Let's get you some more crew XP. Let's let's work out uh, what are other things. Yeah, maybe, maybe maybe some conflicts arrive over the next year, based off the back of that previous. Well, you've all got previous quite splitting priorities now, and you know I'm making sure that we're not having four groups of PCs essentially, mm. or four PCs with their NPC crews. Um, well, I think we're all still quite. I mean, we also are, are still quite aligned around the rather mundane but important task of making money. Like for very different reasons, that will always keep the crew yes. aligned. Whoever's whoever's got the best money making opportunity, the most daring, fear inducing money making. I think everyone will gather for that. No one's going to be. And you have to balance making money with um, your desires for growing in tier and mm. power and size as well, because you need Lorenzo's to. Lorenzo's going to want some. Lorenzo's going to want some remuneration for his time inside. Yeah, that's what I think. There's some. I think we should develop some inner conflict about that that we can explore because we've not had any of that from our again XP games. There's got to be something that comes from it. It's quite a natural conflict, I guess. If, if like a saffron wants to retire and get rich quick, rather than he, maybe he's he's done all this before. He doesn't want to yeah rise in power because he knows it's just gonna maybe be it's, it's... game. No, but he's 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 determined to make something of his 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 employment his shop. So he's pretty committed to that because it's been a long time. It literally had it once many years ago. So I think he's committed to. And uh, what was the, the comments last week about his daughter? Not a daughter. Thank you very much, Stasio. Is his ward and his <laughs> adoptive adopted daughter for all intents and purposes. Yeah. It's a very strong, loving relationship there. Thank you very much. <laughs> It just doesn't seem very two ways. It seems a bit. It's a bit... Well, because she's an NPC. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very harsh thing to call her. That's your daughter. Yeah, That's you your ward. Your she daughter. has emotions and feelings too, Saffron. I've been done there. She's not just an empty NPC. It's well, you sons of bitches. <laughs> There's your inner conflict. She, she suddenly becomes <laughs> utterly beloved when there's a possibility to have her do something think, outlandish for us for free. Yes, that is I think Lorenzo's, yeah. Lorenzo's going to try and uh, marry Saffron's ward, and that'll create some conflict, That's, I'm sure. What? An ex, an ex oh, felon? Yes. A felon? <laughs> please. Marry please my mafia wedding. Yeah. Daddy Saffron. <laughs> A mafia yeah, like wedding is so good, and then somebody has to get assassinated during it by a rival gang. Yes. Love it. Yes, and Silas has like a Sherlock-esque best man speech that takes the whole session. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here with your fucking Stephen Moffat bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think I don't think Lorenzo being married will stop the fanfic. If anything, it will just change the fanfic i wasn't saying to stop any fanfic i was saying to i know chat was uh, saying that it might stop, stop the fanfic but uh, i think it just cause infighting with more, uh, 
more 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 secretive and sordid. Uh, surely more yeah. Oh, is Opal is Opal actually working on a fic? Because I don't. I always. <laughs> I don't really read, read fanfic, but I would read that fanfic. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah Duskfall not the most romantic setting, but we can go. You know, maybe on a holiday episode arc oh, to yeah. you know another land. Take a train Hawaii. ride. What do you mean taking a walk down at night by the canal where the rats are gnawing on bodies? <laughs> What's not, rom not romantic about that? Yeah. How the go. deadlands. And the ghosts are wailing in the alleyways. Yeah. Our she blows. And Jerry stalks the night. Jerry. Recru recruiting members for his church of Satera. Jerry's still <laughs> okay. happening. Oh. Jerry's the yeah, new big that. bad guy. Jerry. <laughs> Giles. Yeah, we'll have a have a romance on the uh, on the Decepticon train ride across the Deathlands. Hmm. Nice orc. Nice orc commando, bro. He's got a power claw. Yes. He's got the goggles as well. Is that how you know he's a commando? Well, I know he's from the Orc Commando oh. kill team. Cause he's I got a little hat. Mad, sneaky, mate. Does he yeah. have a hat? Yeah, mate. He's got a little, like, army cap. Because there are, there, there are, didn't it? It's literally like a reservist cap. Well, Is that like a bowler? Great note to end on. Lovely der derailment there. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> oh, thank you. Classic derailment. I I think we probably oh, no. covered everything on the uh, agenda by this at that point. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I might as well, yeah. But, yeah, fine. If you say so. See you next time. See you, see you. See you <laughs> next year. <laughs> I guess. Oh, we Thanks said the for, thing. Uh, uh, Freaking brilliant uh, campaign so far. I was not expecting to enjoy Blades in the Dark as, as like, Varietally and consistently as I have, it's been really cool. I'm really looking forward to more of it. Thanks, absolutely. Sophie. Indeed. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I think it's been fantastic. Yes, it feels awesome. very, feels very in our control. It's exciting, but you know what I mean. Obviously, not the whole thing, but you know, the things we can do, the the, the exploits that can happen, feels yeah. feels limitless. It does feel very freeing how like open ended it is. Especially with the next season being very open now, as well. Yes. No, no, it's very, no, very... Quests and end of world scenarios, cock. yes. Um, thank you, thank you, chat, for being here every Tuesday evening and keeping me entertained. <laughs> Absolutely. Good job, chat. Good job, chat. Thanks, everyone. Um, thank you. We'll see that fanfic in the new year. Oh, yeah. Every... Yes. It'll be with everyone's, everyone's stockings. Yeah, and uh, Ooh, I hope there'll be stockings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not fair for <laughs> stockings. Friedrich never <laughs> leaves home without them. Stockings in <laughs> stockings in full bodied legs. That's what you we keep need. those. You keep those in your subterfuge supplies, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my heavy load when I take on quests. <laughs> oh, <laughs> always. And uh, a Robin Hood costume, a wooden duck, <laughs> and uh, a pair of stockings. You redeemed yourself, Alex. Well done with the <laughs> Blackadder reference. That's the note to end on. Always a Blackadder reference. Yes. Um, cool. We'll see each other in on the second or the ninth or whenever we we can we can start again. Yeah. Yeah. Season two. War of Crows. Okay. Looking forward to it. Later. Later. Take over the city. Later. Cool. Everyone. <laughs>